All right, folks, welcome back. When last you joined us, we had defeated the first stage, which involved me failing a couple of times, but not a ridiculous number of times, on the jumping around from car to car shooting people stage. Let's find out what we've won. We've got uh, the loading screen. We've got Ruby walking around. We've got mysterious music. We've got machine gun dudes, which Ruby can kill with a thought. Just kick one that's beating them up for no. Are these enemies too? Call off your dogs. She's okay. She starts beating them up as soon as she sees them. Tell him it's arrived. Tell him I'm British. I'm Dracket. Drac Acre. Ackers. I'm sexy nurse. Paging Dr. Morris. Dr. Morris to reception, please. I'll make you feel all nip and tuck, because I'm the nurse who likes to. It's Dr. Ackers. This heart will save your father's life, Mr. Ackers. He wouldn't survive the night without it. Look, don't worry. We'll keep you updated of your father's progress. My father's enemies, my enemies, want him dead. It's Boys. because of you that he'll live. Thank and you. Do the job and for a the matter of my payment. It's yes, key. of course. As my sister and a part of the Torm Nords, I'm very disappointed in you, but we'll still go live together in uh, peace. The amount we agreed upon. You don't want to count it? She's pretty cold. I love that lady. As like awesome and hot as Ruby is, doesn't seem like she'd make a very good girlfriend. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna walk out of the room without another word after you give me a million bucks for killing dudes. Doesn't seem like the kind of girl to settle down and start a family, you know. Though if she did, they'd be like super badass assassin family, of course. One year later. Oh, somewhere in Texas. I hate these stages. You're going to find out why in a minute. Oh, well, never mind. First of all, we've got the credits to deal with. Because we haven't seen the credits yet. An artful mind move. Artificial mind movement. An artificial bowel movement production. Woohoo! Wet. She's like the chick from Dollhouse. I did not realize that until I read about it later. Malcolm McDowell's in this game. That's awesome. And from this point on, I'm not going to pretend to know who these people are. Because some of them are probably... Well, no, there's like one other person they named in the credits. So they probably had one other person who's been in, like, movies. And I didn't even notice their name. I can't even look it up and see who it was. I know that the the lady who voiced uh, Mei Ring in uh, Metal Gear games is in this, which is like kind of just, I guess, kind of a video game icon, but... Home sweet home. Welcome to Ruby's Boneyard Hideout and Practice Grounds. Enter challenges. Excuse me. Belch and put your skills to the test. That's kind of a half belch, half hiccup. These, this is boring because at this point they just give you like goofy obstacle courses to play through. Wow. That TV screen seemed to be showing one of the aliens from They Live when you're wearing the glasses and can see their true alien nature. Get to the challenge start position. Yeah, and this, this, these sections say just, uh, this is the closest the game has to a sandbox area. But there are no enemies. You just jump around using, like, Ruby's acrobatic abilities and you can shoot targets. And I just think it's ridiculous. Like, she's, like, super wealthy. And I know she's supposed to be, like, a badass and mysterious or whatever, but why the... Why the hell does she live in, like, a desert airstrip? Doesn't make sense to me, folks. I don't get it. Anyway, um... Let's, uh... Get on to the start, because let's just do what the game tells us to do. This is very much a section of the game where if you do... If you run through the obstacle course the way that it's laid out for you to do it... You can kind of look cool, but if you mess stuff up, you just look stupid, and it's really easy to mess stuff up. The little thing I just find kind of frustrating. Press A to jump to higher ledges. Well, I just did that, and it didn't work. Anyway, here's the starting point. Pistol run and gun challenge. Reach the end of the challenge path before the timer reaches the limit. A to continue. Use Ruby's pistols to destroy target panels along the way. Each target panel equals... Two seconds or minus two seconds, so you got two more seconds to, to do it. Mm -hmm. 
Target panels. Passing through a fire ring activates a hubcap trigger. Shoot hubcap triggers with the auto lock while destroying targets with the manual aim. Do it properly, so I screwed up and fail everything forever. Targets gives you a better time. I think I'm doing okay for time because I have yet to get completely lost. But you can. Oh, what the? Oh crap! What did I do? Okay, once again, not talking that much because I'm trying to actually do this. These are really annoying to fail at, by the way. Because you can. No, no, jump. Do whatever it is you want to do there, Acro Ruby, whose controls confuse the hell out of me sometimes. See what I said about how you just look stupid when you don't do it right? There you have it, folks. Oh, I'm supposed to jump. Oh, well, fine, I don't care. Ah, two more seconds, bitches. I gotta slide under this thing, and that will trigger shit to shoot, I think. Four targets to come out and get shot at. I did uh, 154, which isn't enough to earn a medal, but it means I don't have to do it again, and that's good enough for me. It really is. And now the magical door opens to the plot continuing. Oh, no, it's another challenge. Because this plane that she frickin' lives in has a Gatling gun that she can play with whenever she feels like it. Turret range challenge. Using the turret, destroy 90 targets before the timer reaches the limit. The different targets are worth different points. Um, what am I supposed to be shooting at here? Am I missing a bunch of targets that are like not above the... No, must kill them, they're worth point, many points. I'm already failing a lot. Must shoot more stuff. I got like 15 of 90, I'm doing awful. Yeah, I'm less than a, I got less than a third of the points, and I'm more than a third of the way out of time. I've got to improve here pretty substantially. That was a good start, though.
Alright, the zoom feature is basically a trap. If you use the zoom feature, you can't see enough of what's going on to find the high point targets to shoot for. And as ever in this game, taking your finger off the trigger for any reason is a mistake. There's no reason not to constantly be shooting. No, die things. Death to moving objects. Death to things with which my gun can interact. What the hell is that? That's a bird. I don't get points for killing animals, apparently. If it's not a dude who told me to suck that special sauce, I don't get points for killing it if it's alive. But I earned a bronze medal, so huzzah. But the real victory here, folks, is we don't have to do that again. I now have access to Ruby's dual shotguns. Perfect for up-close and personal approach. Cock'em and rock'em, baby. <laughs> they said cock. Uh, yeah, I can... Oh, and I was going to show you how to quick draw, but I think the st story is going to continue. No! Click the shotgun ammo pack. <laughs> well, apparently I can't jump up that thing. Do I have to do another one of these? I have to do the shotgun challenge. That's a special inside joke for those of you who used to watch WWF TV a million years ago and they had a show called Shotgun Challenge, but um, I didn't really see exactly where we're supposed to go for this. It's over here, isn't it? It looked like it was those stairs, but I can't get past these... Uh, yeah, I don't think I can just run up barbed wire fence. Well, it's time to end the video anyway, folks. All right, well, folks, that was a video of nothing but us doing goofball challenges at Ruby's abandoned Texas airstrip mansion. When we come back, I'll do the shotgun one, and I think the story will get started, but that remains to be seen. Um, we will see it in the next video, though, folks. I hope you are watching. I hope you're enjoying. And I hope you don't mind that I haven't been doing a super ton of commentary because... Um, I've actually had to concentrate on the game. And um, she doesn't have darkness in her head to talk to her like Alicia did. So I don't have someone for her to banter with. But anyway, we'll be back in the next video, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.